Hello guys, my name is Omare. Welcome to this video and today I want to show you a very interesting video of how to return your KRA. You know you do you, you, you have to file your returns before latest Wednesday next week and I thought it's good to just show you the process of filing your returns using P9 forms so that we'll be able to get a fine of 2000 because if you won't file your returns by Wednesday next week you'll have to incur a penalty of 2000 shillings so I want you to take you through on how the process on the process of filing your returns 2023 welcome to this video and remember to subscribe to this channel now uh, uh the first question which people ask is about where can i get the p9 form okay you know KRA p9 form is a document that contains a summary of how much an employee is being paid and what amount is being deducted by the employer so the p9 form is given by your employer so what you do just request your employer to give you the p9 form and that is the p9 form is the one which has your gross payment it has your tax returns it has your tax deductions and all the information which is needed to fill your carry returns so i want us to start this video welcome to this video start with the first step the first step is you go to google and then uh, you log into the kra itax portal so what you do go to google type kra itax portal kra itax portal Then now, after it has opened, use your carry pin and password to log in. Once you've logged in successfully, click on returns. A drop down menu will come and then choose file returns. Under income tax obligation, select resident tax select resident individual the rest of the figures will be filled for you just leave them so you're done now click next the next thing is to download the resident tax individual form you download that form here option of excel download it in excel form now open the document once you open the excel sheet can you enable macros Now the next step is to fill in the required details. Okay, under basic information, enter carrier pin number. The type of return as original, and then enter your return period. Leave the other uh, spaces unfilled, then go to the next option. Then continue to the next page. On section F, Fill in the PIN of the employer and the name of the employer and the gross pay. Don't mind about the other fields, then now click next. On section M, fill in the PIN and the name of the employer, the taxable salary and then lastly the amount of salary deducted. Once you're done, click next. Section Q, 
details of income tax paid in, in advance. Fill this section if there is any advance given. On section T, tax computation, enter your pension and personal relief contribution amount, then click the validate button. done validating, upload the Excel sheet, agree and return form.